Hi there YouTubers. Okay, this is a, a, a quick video. The quick video on this time is on this uh, little soldering station I picked up. Um, I think, yeah, again this one was off eBay. Um, the 898D Plus. Uh, it's the SMD rework station, soldering iron station. Uh, so far, so good. I've used both parts of this uh, piece of equipment and compared to what I had, the soldering iron, the plug in the wall job, this, what can I say about this? <coughs> oh, this was such a nightmare to use. Personally, if I never see this again, it'll only be too soon. But it's a sort of thing I might just keep around, just to remind myself of why I would never buy anything like this again. Um, just if you just use it every now and then, and you're not going to use it for more than um, a couple of joints, fair enough. But if you want to be desoldering boards or... Yeah, girl, it's just terrible. Absolutely terrible. This thing doesn't keep temperature. It only takes a little bit snot on the end and that's it, it just it's no good yeah. the tips they actually bend while you're you know you're pushing down on the joint um, it's not very good at all this don't get me wrong it's a lot lighter than this it hasn't got all the um it comes with mechanics inside um but it's not great but it's better than this it's a lot better than this and of course with this one i can turn up the heat um like if I just chuck both those on now, I can turn up the heat, and as you can see, look, it's climbing. Now I haven't gone and got a thermometer and stuck it up to the end of this to make sure that this is um, going exactly as it says. For that to be gaining um, temperature as quick as what that is indicating right there, I very much doubt it. I don't hear enough noise from the actual supply inside. I don't hear the fan kicking in. Um, like it's actually doing a great deal of work to get to this temperature that quick. Uh, looking on the, um, the instructions, you know, we're talking 40 seconds, 50 seconds for it to get to temperature. So just because that rate is up there, I would say that's its, uh, its go-to thing. It's indication of, look, this is what I'm trying to get to. This is how quick I'm trying to get there. But in all reality, it's going to take a little bit of extra time to get there. I'm just going to pop that in its holder, just because it's uh, a better place to be. This is not the actual holder. Um, this is not the actual holder I got with this. This is the older, the holder from this. Um, the plastic one that comes with this is all good, but to be fair, this has got like a double, a double ring inside it, and it is a, a little bit better for just chucking that, for chucking the thing in, literally just lobbing it in, which is what I tend to do. Um, sometimes I don't place these things. I just chuck it in the general direction, and it goes in the hole, which is fantastic. This buddy kit is brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, you don't have to have it on full blast, you don't have to have it on full wind, so you can use it for heat shrinking, you can use it to, uh, just to warm yourself up if you want to. If it's a bit nippy, stick it underneath your jumper and turn it up, all good stuff. Goes in the holster, that's a little bit noisy, that's a vibration, okay, and I, I need to sort that out. And that is actually the, the, the vibration of it when it's sat in the holster. But it does shut up, and it is quieter when it's actually being used in the hand. Um, again, I very much doubt if it blisters up to the temperature like it indicates. Um, just because I think that the, the wear and tear on the, on the entire system would just be too much for it. Uh, and you're better off giving it the 40-50 seconds. That seems to be indicated in the, in the little pamphlet manual uh, for its use. The reason why I actually bought this one uh, and not one of the Yihas or I don't know how you pronounce it but there's, it comes under a few of the Atten and the guys is, is because it hasn't got a brand on it. I was going to write Simons because that's my name. Um, I could write Jack but that's not my name and it might look a bit funny but I could put Simons 898D+. Plus. Why not give it my own branding? Everybody else is branding it. Uh, but what would I say for the money? I can't remember what I spent on it, I think it was £62 including the delivery um, and it got here, I ordered it, I think it was around 1.30 um, in, the, in the afternoon and the very next day, quite early, 
it was here. I was chuffed this punch because I had a, quite a few main boards that I needed to get some components off and I was not getting anywhere with this. No, no, no. But I managed to do those jobs uh, very, very swiftly. Uh, so I'm quite chuffed about it. So, yeah. Um, I see. But that's not really its host properly, so it's not detecting it. It's got like a read switch system. And it should go down in temperature. But since I put it here, there we go. It's almost the way it sits in the um, in there. It's got like a little reed switch and magnet, and put it in, and it you know, discontinues power, whatever. Uh, so yeah, the, the great thing about this is if you do come across um, a little bit of solder that you, you can't get into uh, that easily, just, just turn the temperature up. Or if it's been a bit too uh, ambitious on the heat, turn the temperature down. And that's the uh, fantastic thing about this as well, is when you're uh, when you're taking things off uh, your boards, if you are starting to pop them and make them blister and do whatever, turn the temperature down. And always learn and teach yourself on real old boards that you've got no... Um, it doesn't matter where you go wrong, because then when you actually get to a board that's uh, maybe not yours, <laughs> you're not going to damage it because you're going to practice and practice on something that didn't really matter too much. So, there you go. Uh, as you notice with this, even if I switch it off there on its switch, until it's cooled itself down to temperature, um, which it just does a little stay down, it's, um, yeah, I'm wondering actually if there's maybe a little bit of a, a fault there, or something I might have to get into and just do a little bit of adjustment. Although I'm actually putting this in the, in the, in the, in the cradle, uh, as I should. Maybe somebody could pass a comment, let me know what I'm doing now. Uh, okay, that's it. Sure, for this may strip it apart, may not. All depends. Give me some, um, give me some comments on it, and I'll see if I'll take that apart. Give it a bit of a tear down. Okay, people, take it easy, bye, folks. Bye, y'all.